Welcome to another chaotic classroom clip for grade 12s doing the life sciences CAPS syllabus. This video is going to deal with embryonic development and when you talk about embryonic development there are three different types. There's oviperi, ovoviviperi and viviperi. Now they have a tendency of sounding the same which is why you have to look out for certain parts of the words. Now every time you see the word ovi or ovo you should be thinking egg. It should sound a little bit familiar because we've talked about ovums before, we've talked about ovaries before and when you think of vivi I want you to think of live births which means the first one oviperi is going to deal with egg laying animals. Now with these egg laying animals the embryo develops inside of the egg and then the egg is laid and then it later on it hatches. Now, until that is ready to happen, there's a hard outer shell that's going to serve as protection until the egg is ready to hatch. Examples of animals here include birds, amphibians, and reptiles such as tortoises. Now, over vivid peri is the complicated one because it's got two of those words there. It's got egg and it's got live birth. Now, the egg is kept inside the body of the female, which means it's not laid immediately. Now, the egg, when it is ready to hatch, will hatch inside, still inside the body of the female, and then the young are born live. Examples here include sharks and certain types of reptiles. Lastly is viviperi. Now, viviperi, we're going to hear a lot when we talk about mammals, because the fetus, instead of an embryo, they start talking about a fetus that develops inside the uterus of the female. The offspring are definitely born live until they're ready to be born live. The developing fetus gets all of its nourishment from the placenta of the female. Examples here include things like fluffy pandas, big whales in the ocean, and even marsupials like kangaroos. I hope this helps. Thank you for visiting.